and fed egg deer with fed egg equipment. You're tuned into the talking shed. Today, we're talking planter closing wheels, and that's something that we've talked a lot about, as you know, if you've watched our videos, but I want to answer some pretty common questions and, and misconceptions that we get uh, with closing wheels. You know, a lot of guys are, are of course, wanting to save a little bit of money, and, and I definitely uh, am all for that, but I get a lot of guys asking if we can just run one poly spike twister alongside one smooth rubber and uh my quick answer is is no um that's not ideal and i'm going to show you why and this tape measure is going to tell the tale of the tape you know these poly spikes are not designed to penetrate up to this ring right here they are not designed to to penetrate that full inch and a quarter uh, in fact they're only going to penetrate maybe a third uh, or less, maybe half every now and then of that spike. I don't want that spike fully going into the ground. Okay, so what does that mean? That means if this spike, tip to tip, it's about 13 and three quarters, okay? And this smooth wheel is 12, okay? Well, if we take that 13 and three quarters and we go in about a... a you know, quarter to a half inch on each side, we're quickly down to a 13 inch wheel here and a 12 inch wheel here. What I'm getting at is we're gonna have two different diameter wheels going through the ground, which means this wheel is gonna be carrying 90% of the weight of that tailpiece and this wheel won't even be touching the ground because we will be running two different diameter wheels. So a lot of times that can pitch your tailpiece or it will just simply carry this smooth wheel. So one big reason why we don't advocate running one spike per wheel is because of the different diameter wheels. And you can see that right here. They are different diameters, okay? The second reason is this spike, because like I said earlier, it's not designed to fully penetrate in the ground, it's not a real aggressive wheel. We're not closing the trench from the outside coming in like what we used to with those long spikes. We're closing the trench from the top down. So these spikes are running right on the edge of that furrow. You've heard me talk about it over and over, right on the edge of that furrow. We want that inch and a quarter gap. So because they're not a super aggressive wheel, we do need two of them per row uh, to really do a great job of... Uh, of closing that trench. We're taking a less aggressive approach with these poly twisters rather than those real aggressive spikes that we used to run. We used to run one of them per, per side or per row all the time, but they were super aggressive and we were closing from the outside in and we had a lot of issues maybe with some throwing of seed or just excess down pressure on that tailpiece. But today I like to run two of these, very little down pressure and uh, it's just a gentle close and we need that coming from each side. Not only that, but there is a left and right to these wheels. And uh, so we, we want one on each side. So those are three reasons why we want to run two poly spike twisters per row. One is the different diameter. Number two is the, the wheel is not so aggressive uh, to where it can actually do a great job with just one. We need two. And the third reason is there's a left and a right uh, for a reason and as they close they're going to bring a little bit of that dirt into the center and we need them to work in conjunction to close that seed trench. So that's what we're doing today talking closing wheels and answering some very popular questions that we get with the Yetter poly spike. If you need some poly spike twisters give Fennig Equipment a call. We've got them in stock and the best price in town. Thanks for tuning in.